Finally today, more from Dr. Dave Lawman on cow efficiency. This time, the uniqueness of ruminants and how they convert natural resources to food. Let's take just a minute to talk about the role of ruminant livestock in world food security. Um, a lot of people would recognize, the, you know, the idea that ruminant animals are, are very unique in that they have the capacity to convert sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into a high quality human food source. And, and thereby doing that, you know, make use of a tremendous resource that we have available here, you know, on our planet. And so I actually heard a, a really good um, demonstration on, on this topic, and I'd like to share that with you here for just the next few minutes. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Dr. Frank Mitliner uh, credit uh, for this demonstration. But if you, if you just imagine that my sheet of paper here represents the total area, surface area of Earth, um, and then if I fold my paper in half and then fold it again in half, we've got about a quarter of that area left. And that represents the total land area, you know, on, <clears throat> on Earth's surface. And so surprising that it's that small of an amount. But uh, the rest, of course, would be water and ice. And then if I take my business card, you know, this represents the amount of agricultural land available on Earth's surface. And so it's a pretty small amount. Uh, but I'll take my business card and I'm going to fold it one more time and use about a third of that uh, agricultural land. And we'll call that production or land that's capable of producing crops. And it's, it's capable of that because it has high enough soil quality and access to water, whether it be through rainfall or through irrigation to produce those crops. And then the rest of that would be considered marginal land in that area or, or the total amount of, of agricultural land on our surface that would be available. Well, this is where the ruminant livestock really shine because, you know, that marginal land produces forage that those cattle can take advantage of and convert into that human edible food product. And so you can just imagine that if, if uh, the earth without ruminant livestock would not be able to make use of this amount of, of marginal land to be productive in our food supply. The other thing to consider is that in this third of agricultural land, the highly productive land from a crop standpoint, those ruminant livestock utilize a lot of leftover resources or byproducts uh, from crop production. And so a tremendous way to increase our food production efficiency. Finally, the last thing that we ought to consider is that a good portion of the fertilizer that's used to produce crops is produced by livestock, not just ruminant livestock, but poultry, uh, swine, and you know, cattle, sheep, and goats, and so forth. Uh, so you add all those things together and livestock in general and certainly ruminant livestock are a very important part of world food security.